Coming up on today's episode of the Airborne Unlimited, the president and vice president-elect get TFRs over the resonances. Gamma third quarter report does not paint a pretty picture. U.S. Air Force adds remote aircraft pilots. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Oldham. It's November 14th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Following the results from the presidential election, from now through January 21st, pilots are not allowed to fly over Trump Tower in Manhattan or the residence of Governor Mike Pence in Indianapolis, Indiana. The FAA put temporary flight restrictions in place over the two locations to facilitate VIP movement for the president and vice president-elect. The TFRs expire the day after the two are sworn into office in January. However, these TFRs are not the kind of 30-mile rings that are often associated with presidential TFRs. The Manhattan TFR covers airspace from ground to 3,000 feet, while the Indianapolis restriction includes airspace up to 1,500 feet. These TFRs also prohibit drone flights near the two residences. Gamma has released its third quarter shipment of billing numbers for the general aviation manufacturing industry, and unfortunately, it doesn't paint a pretty picture for the industry. Worldwide, general aviation airplane shipments declined 3.5% from the same period last year. Rotorcraft shipments declined 16%, and combined airplane and rotorcraft billings showed a contraction of 16.5%. Gamma President CEO Pete Bunt said in part, There's no way to sugarcoat the fact that these numbers are not what we had wanted to see. Unfortunately, they reflect the instability of the used aircraft market coupled with complicating global economic and geopolitical factors. Turboprop airplane shipments generated a bright spot in the deliveries with an increase of 1.3%, but piston airplane deliveries declined and business jets slipped 7.7%. Bunts added that there is some encouraging news in that every Gamma airplane and rotorcraft manufacturer has a new product development program recently completed or currently underway, so optimism for the future runs high. After the break, 300 applicants are selected for Air Force remote pilot training. The Bristol Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristol is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of the Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aerodasknews.net. Air Force officials have chosen 305 active duty enlisted airmen for the next phase of the enlisted remotely piloted aircraft pilot selection board process. Senior Master Sergeant Rebecca Guthrie of the Air Force Personnel Center said, We have an incredibly talented pool of enlisted airmen and we're confident that the rigorous selection process will yield excellent enlisted air crew who will continue to provide combatant commanders with the intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance they need to win today's fight. 
The selection board process mirrors that of the undergraduate flying training program as closely as possible. Those selected in Phase 2 answered the July call for nominations and completed both the Air Force enlisted or officer pilot qualifying test and the test of basic aviation skills with qualifying scores. The recruitment and training of additional listed remotely piloted aircraft pilots is to support the missions of enhancing intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. Here's this week's Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off and left. This video from Waco Aircraft Company Factory shows us that the final assembly of their classic Great Lakes biplane is a far cry from the good old days of the 1930s. This time-lapse view shows you how it's done today. Search 1209GL on YouTube. After these messages, Ericsson Incorporated files Chapter 11 Bankruptcy. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Ericsson Incorporated and some of its subsidiaries have filed voluntary petitions for relief under Chapter 11 of the Bankruptcy Code. CFO David Lancelot said, We believe that Ericsson will merge a financially stronger company at the conclusion of an expeditious bankruptcy process. Plans to update EU civil aviation drone safety rules were approved by the Transport and Tourism Committee last week. The committee text includes provisions for safety management systems at EU and member state levels to identify potential safety risks earlier. CNS Propeller's large propeller system maintenance, repair, and overhaul business has completed its move to Fort Worth, Texas. CNS Propeller specializes in repair and overhaul of the propeller system used on the Lockheed C-130 Hercules military aircraft and its commercial variants. An agreement has been signed between Jeppesen and Diamond Aircraft to deliver pre-selected Jeppesen, NADAT, and digital charts at the time of delivery. This will now become part of the purchase process of new Diamond aircraft. Transport Canada has issued an STC for composite main rotor blades on Bell 206B helicopters to Van Horn Aviation. The STC grants the same services life for the main rotor blades as the FAA STC, which is 18,000 hours with overhauls required every 2,800 hours. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. The FAA has released a special airworthiness information bulletin for Bendix King Navigator KSN 765 and 770 displays while having a series of specified part numbers with software version 1.0.3 that were approved under the STC SA 11174 SC. According to the agency, during autopilot coupled instrument approaches with vertical guidance, the Bendix King KSN 765 and 770 may cause unanticipated 
unanticipated pitch changes due to erroneous early glide slope or glide path capture commands. The FAA recommends that all owners and operators of aircraft equipped with the reference Bendix King KSN 765 and 770 displays provide a means to ensure their flight crews are familiar with the procedures described in a Bendix King service information letter dated April 22, 2016. Operators using this equipment are urged to review the SAIB for pertinent model number information. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerol-news.net. Keep flying! We'll see you tomorrow.